Ain't no half stepping with Marcus J live from the den. Legacy Internet Radio. Shout out to Elder Barge and Faith Evans. They just want to lay with you, man. You already know that's yeah. a dope ass song, and we appreciate them giving us the opportunity to play that joint. Marcus J and the crew. We are in here on the flagship show of Legacy Internet Radio. Y'all want to rock with us? We gonna roll with y'all. Eight zero four. Four zero two two eight nine three is the number to dial to be a part of the discussion tonight. We are going to move into our next segment, and I am going to turn the floor over to our sister Shana, our clairvoyant medium, who joins us every single month. Uh, the floor is yours, our sister. You've got some special guests in the room, and we know what we're going to talk about, but I want you to introduce it. What we got? All right. Hello, world. Um, today... The topic that my lovely sister Jane um, came up with today that she's so passionate about. Um, what is actually the difference between psychics and mediums? A lot of people get this term um, misused. They misuse it. They um, get it mixed up. So we're going to clarify all of this for you guys tonight that's listening. Right. Yes, um, so this is Jane, and what we want to talk about is um, I'm going to talk about the psychic part or the intuitive part and how that works. Um, because a lot of people think, oh, you see these psychics and come in here and I'll read your palm or we'll do the crystal ball. And a lot of people don't give much credit to right. this being genuine. And we're trying to establish that there's a lot of credibility to it and how it works and what it's all about. Um, a psychic or an intuitive, which is what I am, is someone when they connect with an individual, like I'm sitting down with Shana and I'm connecting, I'm connecting with her energy, I'm connecting with her body movements, I'm connecting with what she says, everything like that. And then when I give her an intuitive reading, you can do it several ways. We have something called the language of spirit, which means the way people who are around us and energies around us communicate with us so we can pick up signs and symbols of things that normally other people cannot so when you're psychic or intuitive and i'm sitting down with shana and i'm going to give her a reading now i could use tools to give her a reading like tarot cards um, people can use ruin stones people can use candles oh. people can use palms people can use crystals a lot of things that just help this energy flow between the two of them but as a psychic and a medium, or a psychic and intuitive, we have the abilities to lift up our vibrations, which means we can literally hear and feel things that normal people who don't work on this cannot. Right. So that's how we do the readings. And the, I use tarot cards to do my readings. I don't use the um, normal deck, which is a Rider Waite deck. I use what's called, um, I, get, I have Oracle Angel cards, I have Heart cards. So I use a whole bunch of different cards. And these cards um, help us connect with the individual we're doing the reading for and help us give them, I don't call it advice, I really just call it information that they can take whatever they want to do with it and run with it. Some of them ask for specific information like, tell me when I'm going to get this job and make $100,000. Well, okay, we can do a little bit more detail, but that's, that's how the whole thing works. So you're really just want, connecting with that person one-on-one, -on -one, and then from there, talking to them about what you're feeling and, and that type of thing. So that's, that's what a psychic or an intuitive does. Right. Um, for me, um, I am a psychic medium. Um, the term all mediums are psychic, but not all psychics are mediums. For me, um, since I am medium, um, I actually connect to spirits so they can give me specific information about that person or their family members or someone who has passed away. I literally can connect to spirit like that 10 seconds and it's on one. Um, it's really weird, but it is a great thing. I think it's great. I've been doing it since I was six. So, you know, <coughs> it's just something that I do. Ashley? Ashley, you want to say you. anything? Um, yeah, I think I'm the newest one to the bunch here. <laughs> <laughs> to this whole life. And um, 
I just found out that I'm psychic medium. And um, what is that? So sometimes when I'm giving a psychic reading, um, a spirit will come through for the person. This happened three times yesterday Mm -hmm. and it happened a few times before that. But I think yesterday um, we actually had a a fair, a holistic psychic fair yesterday. And I was doing a reading and it was just supposed to be, you know, psychic intuitive reading because that's what I thought I was. And then, boom, all these spirits start coming in. And so I just learned what it is. And I kind of have to agree with what Shana said. I guess you kind of are born with it. Maybe you can just develop it over time so it becomes more powerful. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, she's been doing it since she was six. I've been doing it since, you know, Thursday. Actually, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> it is, I have to believe say, it, it is not. real. Ashley <laughs> is a very, very, very good psychic medium. Um, you know, it it's like any gift, you know, some people are born to play basketball and they're just naturally really good at that. And then there's some people who learn to play it. Anyone can learn to be a psychic medium. You know, anybody can learn this. It's a it's a gift. I mean, it, you know, as long as you learn this is what you want to do, you concentrate on it, you meditate on it, you do the things that you know the practices and i mean anyone can learn to do this let me ask you guys a question um, well i guess somebody is gonna trump me uh so i won't ask my question ready, because the 80s. caller is going to take priority over yours Everybody truly ain't that. no half stepping with marcus okay. j live from the right. den legacy internet radio you are on the air caller what's your name where you calling from What's up, what's up? It's Cass, yo. How you doing? What's going on, Cass? I'm in New York right now. What's going on, Cass? Well, first of all, before we go into anything with you, Cass, what I will say to you is happy birthday to you. Even though I can't sing, it's the thought that counts. What's up, Cass? Ain't nothing. I'm just calling to say what's up to everybody, man. I was supposed to be listening from the beginning, but my tablet's bugging out. Okay. Um, okay. I well, wish I was there. All right. Well, hi, everyone. Well, we, hi, we, Cass. We appreciate it. Hey, um, so, on the count of three, we're going to all shout out Cass and say happy birthday. Uno, dos, tres. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Mama. Happy birthday, Cass. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank Cass, you guys. is there thank anybody you. that you know that's in the room that you want a special shout out before we let you go? Um, yeah, I want to say what's up to Mommy. I miss you. I know I haven't been in Virginia for mad long. Right? I miss you. I miss you. I never, never love you any less. Right? You got it. I know. I yeah. love you too. All right, Cass. Talk thanks for soon. thanks for checking in. All right. Be cool. All right. You got All right. it. Safe travels back home. Thank you. Bye bye. Right. Peace. Uh, caller, we saw you calling a minute ago. Call us back. Ain't no half stepping with Marcus J live from the Dan Legacy Internet Radio. Because of my college years and the bad things that I did to myself, I cannot remember what the hell I was about to say. And so I'm going to wing it. You said you had a question. <laughs> yeah, right? and I don't remember what it was, but I'm, I'm going to wing it. Actually, I do remember what it was, so I got it back that quick. Um, <laughs> basically, what my question is, and I, I'm just going to – I, I, I want to qualify something. We know that – Ash has been doing this since Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, and, and, and no. I'm, I'm, I'm playing. Wait, I'm Ashley playing. is a I'm playing. really good I'm, psychic. I'm, I'm, I'm playing. I'm playing. Shana, you've been since uh, for, I, for I was six when so, I realized since you were six since, since, since you were six years six years old. Call it. We see you. Hold tight for a second. Jane, how many years you got? Probably since I'm about ten, and I'm not going to tell you how old. Okay, I am. so so, you, so, so you've got you've got ten years doing this, and Lady Die, how how many years you got? You got ten years as well doing this, right? Ever since I was two. Okay, so you you okay. well you, when I say you're twelve, so you got twenty years in. So I, I'm going to hold what my question is, but I want to give priority to the caller. Caller, what's your name? Where you calling from? Hi, this is Luana from Florida. Hey, Luana, how you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing fabulous. Thank you for listening to Ain't No Half Step with Marcus J here on no Legacy problem. Internet Radio. We appreciate you checking us can, out. Uh, what's your I, comment? Can, what I, you can get? I quickly say hi to someone first? Please? Absolutely. Absolutely. Go for it. Hi, Mr. 3375. How are you? <laughs> how are you doing, baby? You doing all right? Now, just ask your question, and they will let you know. 
Okay. All right, lady. An actual question. Oh my yes. God, I don't have a specific question. Am I supposed to have like a specific question? What would they just? Well, it helps. Yeah, it helps. It helps, it helps. especially. It helps. What do you want to know? What do you want to know? You scared okay, to ask what I you want to ask? I just want to know overall. Just overall. Um, <clears throat> um, do you see my life moving in a more positive direction? Okay, so I'm gonna ask my spirits for. Um, I'm gonna ask them for um, a message for your higher good. Okay. Okay. Like, okay. This is your, but you got three psychics, four psychics on the line. Okay. <laughs> Can I ask one question? Can you just sure. say, say your own name? Luana. Okay. Thank you. getting nervous <laughs> no 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 don't be okay so um i'm just gonna start talking um what i'm feeling and what i'm hearing is that it's finally over this um slump that you were in i really wow. like yeah just relax okay because it this is finally over it's done um i i pulled some cards for you and they all saying the same thing like um end of a difficult situation and i wrote down family life three times and that's what my, my spirit just keeps telling me. Like, I think you really need to start looking deeper into your family because that's where you're going to find your answer. Like, huh, how can I say this? You just got some new stuff coming for you, girl. I just, like, when I was connecting to your energy, I was just shaking because I just felt so much that you just been wow. through. And some of the things we can't say on the air, but you know, right. you know, you know. So, um, yeah, I got. I when you said your name right away, I got that you're a survivor. I don't know what you survived, but you survived something, and that you right. have a really great attitude after coming out of this dark tunnel that you were in, wow. and that you you've decided you're going to be positive moving forward, and that you're not going to let. You know, a lot of us will carry negativity in to our present and future life that happened to us, but you're going to let it go finally. And you're just going to move awesome. forward and have a great attitude about life. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Luana. Ashley, Thanks for calling. Ashley, okay. Ashley, uh, Ashley, you got something? Yes. Yeah. Is Luana still on the phone? Yeah, Luana? she's still there. She's still I'm, there. I'm still here. Okay. So this is Ashley. I'm the new one. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Hi. <laughs> she's great. So I actually got, um, I actually got a lot of what these, what the, um, what the ladies have here. I see that you are walking in the right direction in your life, um, okay. but I wonder if you have had a period of crying when you feel like you were just crying one too many times. Right. Okay. Right. Um, I definitely feel like that period is coming to an end. Um, the message from my angels is to keep holding tight. It's going to be fine. Um, the second question I had was. Um, has somebody left you that you wish didn't leave? Or Absolutely. You... Okay, so I got that um, really heavy. And um, I feel like you need to to let it go, to let it go. I really feel like you need to let it go. And that void that is there will be filled again, but even better, even better. Okay. Um, so that's my that's my little message for now. Someone else is going to come. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's just it's. I think it's going to be a matter of time after you start going looking within yourself, because okay. once you start looking within, your light will start shining and it will attract exactly okay. what you want. There's a man coming. Hold on. She want to tell you about the man. Is that true? There's a man coming for you. Oh Lord! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure. She's happy about that one. <laughs> Luana, I don't know. Keep. keep I don't on. know. Keep. I'm not even thinking about a man right now. But okay. Uh, yeah. keep, keep girl, on. he thinking about you, girl. He thinking about you. <laughs> keep on oh, listening. Oh Lord. Keep okay. On listening, Thank okay? you guys so much. I really appreciate You're it. You're welcome. Thank welcome. you for listening. Keep on listening. That was awesome. Ain't, Absolutely. Ain't no half step on Marcus J live from the den. Legacy Internet Radio. All right, listen.
Um, I got a question that's going to be a little bit uncomfortable, but I want you all to address it. Um, it's something that we've all, that I've spoken with you all about um, recently, and that's the skeptics. Um, the the, the folks who, uh, and there's some listening right now because I know, uh, I know who you are. First of all, um, let me give a couple of shout outs. Shout out to our brother Said. Uh, Said is listening. What up, bro? Uh, we also have our sister Melanie in the shy. What's up, true fighter? My big sis Melanie in the shy is listening to us. Uh, so shout out to her. And I see the lights on, of course, in Jersey City, New Jersey, as well as our brother K Dub is listening to us down in the ATL. So I'll get those uh, salutations out there because they hit me up throughout the show and I hadn't had an opportunity to get those uh, shout outs in. But uh, I want you all to address this because we talked about skeptics um, and we're going to hit it head on because we don't have step. Uh, there's people that think that y'all crazy. Mm-hmm. And there's I love people, it. And, there, and there's people who think that I'm crazy for putting y'all on. Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. what I want, Jane, I want you first to address the folks who think that y'all are crazy mm-hmm. and they think that I'm crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think most of the skeptics I have found in my life are the people that are religious, and I'll tell you why. I was raised a Christian, Methodist, went to Sunday school, was in church, taught, all that, you know, everything we normally do when you're raised. Um, And a lot of people that come to our group that we go to are people who have been in very, very high religious um, congregations. They were very active in the church. And those who don't understand what we do think it's almost blasphemy because we are connecting with spirit, because we are doing readings and delving into people's minds and emotions. Mm-hmm. And how could you possibly do that? Who are you to do that? Um, let me, the thing it helped me understand is that I have never been closer to God. And I'm, I'm being honest with you because we are, we are the center of God. We deal with spirits. Spirits are people that have, were here and they passed. They have died. They're there with God. They're in heaven with God. But they still have a lot to say. But they speak a different language. Right. And they want to communicate with those of us who are still in the physical form on the earth because our expiration date has not come mm-hmm. yet in our body. So, but they, they guide us. They help us. They put their arms around us. And what we do is help these spirits speak to those who have who are still on earth and give them that message. Us who are psychics, we help talk to you, maybe help you work through some issues you're working with individually. So for those who are skeptics, I just say really read about what we do because I am not, most of the readings I do, I do for free. Absolutely for free. Me too, Jane. Every once in a while when I do a fair like we did yesterday, I work a lot of um, fundraisers. I, the, if you go to the Aquarium Bookstore here in Richmond, they do the Psychic Fair twice a year. I work here. there. Shana works there. Hopefully Ashley and Diana will be working there too. Um, and we raise money for the Baby Girl Project. We build schools in, I forget Kenya. the country, Kenya, Kenya. We, for girls. And yeah. we do it for girls specifically because a lot of the females in some of these impoverished African countries do not allow the women to go or to the school. girls to go to school. They allow the boys but not the girls. Or either the parents don't have the money for uniforms because they make them all wear uniforms, uniforms in school. Yeah. So we raise about $20,000 every time we do that every festival. Year. And we send that. 100% of that money goes over there. And so if you ever come to one of these festivals or you really get to know Shana and Ashley and Diana and me, you will find that we are kind, sweet, open. We believe in God. We know God's there because we connect with him. When we connect with spirit, believe me, it is something else to see it. (laughs) And so those who are skeptic, before you say, I don't believe, or you feel like we're stepping into your Sunday morning church, then read about us or meet us and sit down with us. Shana, what do you think about the skeptics? Well, you were a skeptic when I first met you, Marcus. You remember that? I don't know that I would say Mr. that I was. Mr. 337 uh, remember that I, I, day. I don't know that I would say <laughs> that I was a skeptic. Uh, oh, Lord. Well, to the skeptics, I love them. Like, y'all are my biggest, you know, I, y'all end up, yeah, y'all end up being my biggest fans after I get through with you, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very, I love it. It's it's great. Is I mean, I the skeptics can say what they want to say. I mean, hey, if it was a way I can show you how I do this, please be my guest. 
Di- Lady Di, what you think about the skeptics? Bring them on. <laughs> because everybody has their own opinion. And we are touched by angels. We are touched by God. We have higher powers of spirits. We listen to the animals. We watch nature. That's how we know that God is everything, and that's how we know how to give you the message that you've long been waiting to hear. Ashley, skeptics, what you think? I mean, I really don't focus too much on the skeptics at all, whether they come or not. I just, I, I mean, like I said, I'm new. These, yeah, the, I mean, these you're pretty these new. You have around. been in it for a while. They have been in the trenches of this. Um, there and actually I take the phrase back to trenches because it's such a beautiful spiritual practice there really is no trench like it's just a beautiful Great. place um I would so I haven't really come across it at all yet um but I, I guess I'll follow in that step bring it on I guess I mean what what more else can people what more else can people hate I want to say one more you know, thing. there's the question Marcus a lot of people and let me just say one thing. A lot of people come and become, develop their psychic abilities, develop their mediumship because they haven't found what they wanted in the church. They feel like there's something missing. They feel like they sit down and they listen to a congregation. I mean, sorry, they listen to a sermon every Sunday and they look around and they're like, are these people really Christian? Are they giving? Are they non judgmental? Are they loving? Or they just come here to make themselves feel better and then go about their day. So, uh, that's, I mean, I don't know how many times we've heard this same story over and over again mm-hmm. when we have new people come and we ask, why are you here? And they're like, because I don't feel like I know all the answers. And I feel like there's a better way. I can have a personal relationship with Jesus, with God, whatever whatever, Buddha, you believe whatever. In. If, you It know, don't matter. Whatever you believe in, whatever religion you believe in. And so they come and then they start working on these abilities. They listen to us. And they find and they, you know, because the best thing to do is just to get in there and ask questions and take classes and learn and learn and learn and read. And then you start developing your skills. And you had a question. So go right. QB, you had a question, QB? Yeah, um, um, I just was wondering because everybody told us how long, you know, they've been doing this. And um, Ashley says she's just been doing it since Thursday. <laughs> but the question I really have, no, but for real, the question that I really have, and I don't know why it's on my mind to ask this, but is this something that you feel that you've probably had and didn't want to speak up about? Or have you really felt that you've just been doing this since Thursday? Good question. And to be 100% honest with that, I do feel as a child I did have this um, – so here's a here's the thing, I was, a, a real story. When I was, I would be afraid of spirits and ghosts as a child. And the one place where I felt like ghosts and spirits specifically could not touch me was in my bed and in my childhood bed. And that um, comfort of that little bed would carry me through years until I got high school and I got a new bed and I felt like this bed wasn't <laughs> sacred and so I had to be careful about that. <clears throat> I remember walking once on the beach and I felt like something was following me. I always had an issue with spirits and ghosts. I mentioned that because my brother never came. He was like, ain't no such thing as that. Ain't no such thing as that. So I realized now that I was more sensitive to the, the um, spirits and people on the other you side always had than, than my brother than whoever so i don't want to say I, I always knew because i didn't really didn't know and to give you an exact date on when i really started doing this it wasn't until about june of last year um one of my one of my friends said she was getting into it and so i just jumped into it because i was at a point in my life where just like jane said i was at, i was lost with the church and I'm in a church, I'm a Christian for 31 years, and I don't feel like I'm getting anything out of this. And so I, you know, went from the church to Buddhism. Buddhism wasn't working for me. I was like, let me figure something else out. I thought about creating my own religion because I saw people doing that. I said, well, <laughs> let me just do, believe that there's nothing up there. I knew it was something up there, but I didn't really know what. So I just started picking up the tarot cards. Somehow that thing worked for me overnight. And I was reading people, they were telling me, this is so true. I read another friend, she was like, this is so true. How did I learn how to read tarot cards? I was watching a video on YouTube. This is how raw I was in June. I moved down to Richmond, I met Shana. Shana said, come to this group. 
I went to the group, my life has not been the same since. And I mean, I don't mean to take up so much time. I really have to give shout outs to Judith and the Clover Hill Holistic Center because just in these past couple of months with me being there, my life has changed so much. Like I can give you so many hardcore examples of how it's working in my life that even if this is fake and I'm just insane, this is the best form of insanity <laughs> I have ever come across. You ain't lying, I'm, be, I'm just being honest. And I don't, I'm not going to take up no more time. Maybe we could talk more so after the show because I could give you exact pinpoint. This is how this helped me, especially financially. And that was big for me because everybody and their mama, if you want to prove something, you need to prove it with their pockets because right. I can prove, oh, he loved me again. That ain't nothing. But when you prove it in your pockets, yes, I can pr prove that to you. So is it real? It's most definitely real for me. And I was girl, come to the circle, girl, come I, I, to the group, let, whatever we call. Let it. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me just say this because um, yes. <laughs> let, let, let me say this. I, I, I have always, Jane, you said something a minute ago that spoke to me, uh, and you said it to me yesterday, yesterday. when I was there with you all. Yes. Um, at the the I guess it's, it's festival the right word or the holistic. It was like a psychic uh, the, festival. The, the, the festival thingy. and first of all I want to first of all I want to I want to I want to publicly thank you all for inviting me there because I had such a good time being there with you guys and just kind of uh, experiencing Goldie. It, yeah Goldie yeah Goldie broke <laughs> shout, down girl. Shout, shout, Goldie shout, broke shout, shout out to shout Goldie out, we love you Goldie, Goldie. If she's, if she's listening but you know it was it was something that you said yesterday and you said it again today tonight when you talked about there are a lot of people who are looking for religion and they uh, are not able to find what they're looking for in religion and it's not necessarily my story but I understand exactly what you mean because I personally made a choice to not delve into religion. It doesn't work for me. Right. And so it makes me a lot more sensitive. I don't know if sensitive is the right word or-, or Your empath. Well, we've we shared that as well, but I think the word that I'm looking for is I'm, 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 a, I'm a lot more, I, I can't find a word, but I understand folks who don't think like other folks. Right, yeah. You know what I mean? Like we that, think outside the box. I think outside the box a lot more, Shana. Thank you. And so when I see you guys work, because I saw you work, I saw Shana the f the very first time you came in this studio, you worked this man right here, Mister Thirty Three Seventy Five, and I watched his whole demeanor change. You know, and you know you 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 worked with him. You know, we don't have to get into it. We got into it before, and that's fine. You know, and so my thing that I want anybody to listen that's listening to understand whether you are a skeptic or whether you're someone who is all in, you ain't got to understand. It ain't for you to understand. Nope. You don't have to understand for you to respect. Absolutely. If you're going to respect someone's religion, if you're going to respect someone's sexuality, if you're going to respect someone's race, if you're going to respect a person, then you're going to respect them. If you're not, then you're not. But to the skeptics, I will say, you know what? Have a conversation. Just kick it. Because these folks are just as normal as you are. What? You know what I mean? Because everybody got a little crazy. <laughs> the QB got crazy. She funny as hell. Mr. 33, he got crazy. He photographizes. And he and he he, he utility player is. That's not a, that's not word. I'm making it up. You know, big rule. Make own his crazy is he loves kids so much that it just makes him crazy. You know, <laughs> big bro Joe is just crazy. <laughs> you know, big sis is like so special that she's so crazy that she'll help anybody. You know, I'm crazy because I'm just crazy. Everybody got their own crazy. And so I say that to make sure that anybody that's listening don't be going around judging, folks. I'm going to say more about this in my rant later on. I normally don't really get into what my rant is, but I guess I kind of teased it. We'll get into a little bit more later on. 
And so I want you guys Somebody to Somebody said something to you about this? No, 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 no. Not not specifically. Because I would walk up on it. Yeah, I bet you will. Because I, I know give it to him. I know you a tough one, and we don't want nobody to have to feel the wrath of our sister Shane. No, 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 no I'm no. not going to be tough. I'm just going to give it to him straight, psychically. Well, exactly. Well, that's, why that's don't you what, do? And that's what you do. If someone is. Tell us. Someone comes upon you, and there's, uh, you know, I've had people who are very religious saying, Oh, you you know you're a witch or you know you're you're doing all these negative bad things you know you shouldn't be saying you speak to god or that you know that you can speak to spirits it's it's just you shouldn't be doing this and as they talk to me i usually pick up on something you right because i'm also empathic uh-huh. right. so i'll pick up on energy things they're hiding and i usually spit out something that i they have no idea how I know it, and they stand there and stare at me. And they turn how around. did you they know usually, this? They usually turn around and walk away. Hey, you know, I have to step on Marcus J. Live from the Den. Legacy Internet Radio, we got a caller on the air. Caller, what's your name and where are you calling from? My name's Stephanie. Hey, I'm Ste- calling from the Richmond area. Hey, Stephanie, yeah. how you doing tonight? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for calling. Ain't no half stepping with Marcus J. Stephanie, what you want to get in on tonight? Oh, I want to say, is Shana in? She's How you right doing? Hi, she, she Stephanie. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. What's your um? What's your birthday? Uh, my birthday is one eleven. <gasps> one what, baby? One eleven, January eleven. All right, Capricorn. Do you have a specific question? If you do, you can think it. Um, yes, I do. Uh, Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Cause you, you. Got, you got four psychics in here, so we're going to all connect to you. All right. You want me to say it or do you want me to think it? Say it if you want to. I'm in a bit of a situation, um, and I just recently found out that I am expecting. I was just about to say pregnant. Ashley, wrote, Ashley down wrote down wrote pregnant. Down. Ashley wrote it down. <laughs> One of the psychics in here already wrote, wrote down. down baby on yep, her. She wrote down baby. <laughs> okay, and, and I continue, see it. She uh, wrote Stephanie. It. I saw it. Hey, hey, hey look. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, Stephanie. So, Stephanie, QB. Did did she? What did she write down? Because I, I, I want someone unaffiliated to 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 coach. She wrote down baby, b a b y. Yes, she did. Before you even said yes, it, Stephanie. Did. So we're gonna let Ashley start with this. Shout out to the skeptics. Go ahead. Let, let her let her keep talking. Okay, okay she has ahead. a question. Yes. Stephanie. So the, um, my boyfriend's family isn't too excited about the baby, and they think that. We should terminate, which is not a personal belief of mine. And I think he's thinking the same. So I just don't know how to move forward from this point. Well, I have one thing to say, Stephanie. This is Jane. Um, You're a very powerful person. I know you probably don't feel that right now because I feel a lot of being very timid and unsure, obviously, because of the situation you're in. But you're very, very powerful, and I'll tell you why you're very powerful. If you don't know anything about numerology, um, numerology has four power numbers. The first one is 11. You were born on January 11th, which you are a very unique individual. There are not a lot of people that have those numbers. So this means whatever you decide is best for you, this is what you should do moving forward. This is what, this is the feelings I'm getting because I don't think you're going to get a lot of support from everyone else that's involved. So you decide what you feel is best for you and your child and move forward. Ashley, Ashley, go ahead. Uh, yeah, when you first called, I, I just knew it was a baby um, situation. <laughs> um, <clears throat> What I'm seeing for you right now, to be very, very honest, the baby's father, I think that he actually does want to be a father, but it, his family is really swaying him. I think his family is going to continue to sway him. And I, to be very honest, I think for the next nine months, it might be, um, it might not even be nine months anymore. Uh, but it, what, until you give birth, um, you might feel slightly abandoned. My... Um, advice to you is to ask for help outside of the father and his family for this time um but i am seeing that the 
that the that entire side of the family will come around. That's exactly what I was will about to come say. around. And so I also also I'm really gathering that um I, I really don't think that it's my place to make decisions for you, especially such life changing decisions when it comes to, you know, termination or or to keep it. Um, but I will say that I feel like this baby would have come no matter what. So even on that day, if y'all used all types of protection, all plan B's, everything, he still pulled out. I think you still would have got pregnant. Ashley. I really Ashley. do. I really do. So what does that mean? That means no matter She's what. She's a real raw side. And so <laughs> I just feel like that is what would have happened. Um so my, I, 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 I hate telling people what to do. No, no, no. Okay. No, no. You, you, you did okay, great. Good, good. Um, yeah, Stephanie, you. um, this is Shayna. Okay. So your son is going to be beautiful. Okay. So regardless of what the family are saying right now, once your son comes, it's going to be great. He's going to look like your mom. By the way, um, just so you know that much bit of information and um. You're you're gonna be okay. It's just gonna be a little rough for you right now. But honestly, if you feel like I, I mean, I'm connecting to your energy right now. You really want to have the baby? Go for it. Go for it because it is your time. And no matter what anybody say, it's gonna be okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you all right? I am. All right, Stephanie. Thank you sound so uh, familiar. Are you in my yoga you, class? I am. I know exactly who you are and which one you are. And I thought that today when I gave you the card, I said, gosh, she's going to call. And I know exactly what she's going to call about. Wow. Oh, well, it's going to be all right. And next time I see you, I'm going to give you a hug. But we ain't got to talk about what we'll say it on the radio, okay? <laughs> thank you. And you're welcome, baby. Stephanie, thank you so much. And good luck, okay? Thank you. All right. Have a good one. And you know how I step in with Marcus J. Live from the Dan Legacy and that radio. All right. Anybody else catch that Shana said that it's going to be a boy and it's going to look like the mother? <laughs> that like, came from me and Jane and did, Diana. Did, 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 okay. All of us. Her, she told her. No, I said boy. I, I was going to say that, but I turned her and she said Because when you. We when you call it, when, when We you, had a hotline. When you, when you said that, I looked at Big Sis. I was like, word? <laughs> Ain't no hand stab with Marcus J. Live from the Dan Legacy yes. and that radio. Shout out to New Jersey. Who's calling? Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Rosa from New Jersey. How you doing, Rosa? Hey, Mr. Seventy Three, Seventy Seven, Thirty Five. Thirty. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? You know I love you. I love you too. Go ahead and ask your question. Honestly, I don't have no idea what to ask. Um, don't ask about that man chair. Because <laughs> <laughs> I already wrote it down. That's why I already started with you. All right. So oh when God. I'm getting off of you, Rosa, I'm I'm seeing uh, you just you just hot right now. Like you just out <laughs> doing you, having a good time, and you just really <laughs> wanting the ones to come through. Like the guys that you're meeting right now, they're all cool, but nobody is really hitting that specific point, saying that that's the one preach you want. Girl, preach it. Girl, I know you hot I'm though. Ready. I felt it when I already I wrote it down. I said, man. Damn. I was a skeptic up until two minutes ago. Oh, girl, Rosa, relax. What's your birthday, Rosa? Oh, well, just give me the month and the day. 610. I ain't scared of my year. 610, 72, and 43, love. All right, girl, you better be sexy with it. Do that thing. You know. Rosa, <laughs> do you have a question? Oh, my gosh. Um, I was just, last week I had back surgery, and... I just want to know how am I going to come out of this because I've been struggling since 2007 and I don't see no upside to none of this. Probably two questions in one maybe. Have you already <laughs> had the surgery or are you going to have it? I already had it on the 17th. Okay. I seriously don't see no upside. I see that it's going to be a while till you fully recover, Rosa, that it's a slow process. 
I'm not sure what's holding you back. Um, I don't know if it's physical or if it's emotional, if you know what I'm talking about. Yes, I do. Okay. Um, but I think once you find, you find your center and your strength emotionally, that then physically you will heal. Because no matter what's wrong with you, if you aren't emotionally where you should be, it affects your body in so many different ways. So you need to let go of something. I know you're hanging on to something, Shana. You may pick up something. But, or I Ashley. Did. Um, oh. ah, I just lost it. But um, Rosa, about the, the healing process, it's going to be a while. That's what I wrote when you were, before you even started saying. Um, I don't know what the name John means to you, but that's, that's the name I'm getting right now. Maybe that could be the man that's coming, or maybe that's someone's coming. I don't know. John. <laughs> Who's John? Who's John, girl? I don't know, but that I wrote his name three times on this paper, John, John, John. So obviously whoever John is to you, he's very important because it's pulling on my heart. Lord have mercy. Ah. And, and it's Rosa, right? I, I don't know if this yep. John may be the one that's holding you back emotionally, if you understand what I'm saying. Yes, I do. And I don't know if you need to hang on to him. So this may be preventing your physical healing from moving forward as quickly as it should. So um, I think maybe think about whether you need or want this person in your life or if you are strong enough to let go of him or if you just have yourself wrapped around him emotionally. Sometimes we just think we need somebody when we really don't need somebody. So really kind of pray on it. If you meditate, meditate on it and just really think about what he brings to your life. Not what you give him, what he brings to your life. And if he doesn't elevate you up, then you don't need him in your life. And um, Ashley has a question. Ashley has a question. I have a question for you. So you said you were um, in the hospital for back issues? Yeah, I was, I was having surgery. Okay, are there any other um, health issues with you or with someone who is close to you that may be a little taxing on you? No, it's just me. What'd you say? What'd you say? It's just me. Just you? Okay. And, it's, and, and just the back issue? Yep. Okay. Okay, that's good. She just wanted to make sure there was nothing else that was maybe hindering your healing by having multiple things going on with you physically. Um, Shana, it's more emotional you, and spiritual than anything. Yeah, so I think this John, because I, I don't pick up good things about him. I'm sorry. I just don't. Um, no, it's not. Don't be. It's a good thing you ain't picking up nothing good. Oh, oh, I, no, I, <laughs> I just said it was tugging on my heart real hard. I'm sorry. No, yeah. Baby. So, I mean, have you been with this John for very long? No, I've just known him for about two years on and off. Yeah, I think you should cut him loose. Yeah, he's, he's stringing, you along. He's stringing you, you along. He's stringing you along. And you need, you need all of your strength right now to heal physically. And like I said, this guy is pulling. You know how people are psychic vampires? Do you know what I'm talking about? Or yep. They... If you're a good person, positive, loving, caring, there are people who are not. And they are lacking that. They are darkness. They are attracted to people who are light. And they come in and they suck the life out of you. And that's what he is doing. You don't need that now. You need to be strong for yourself. So you've got to cut him loose. I don't normally, I'm not normally that definitive she about She really stuff. isn't. Jane is really sunshine. I'm usually you keep, very, you I'm keep, usually very you passive. You keep it real 100% no matter how much you guys say, you go ahead and say it. Don't hold back. And I don't think I can say anything more than cut him loose. <laughs> He's such a needy man. Like, I feel like you just indeed, wait on him a uh, hand and foot, indeed. hand and foot hand and foot yes, like it's yes. like it just drained you and even during this surgery time i feel like he's still trying to drain you and he's not being not compassionate sure. towards your issue which you got going on right now you know he's still thinking about his self 
right? At yes, the second, why you? He probably wonder where your pain drugs is at. Why you yep. here? I'm just saying. Rosa, he's no, having you wait on him even though you you just had back surgery, right? He's saying the truth. I know. I know. So even though you are ill and can't move around for back surgery, he expects you to still take care of him instead of the other way around, correct? Yep. Okay. So that kind of says it right there. So just think about that. Um, I would make a list of pros and cons, to be honest with you. If it's hard for you to let go, write down what's good about him. Write down what makes you mad or what he doesn't bring to your life. Um, Just knowing he's narcissistic upsets me. Yeah. Yeah, he act like he don't care all the time. No, he don't. I hate that. Diana wants to say something. Hi, I'm Diana. I what I wanted to tell you, what's not helping your back heal is you are carrying him. You're carrying his burdens. You're carrying his emotions. You're carrying him around. And to heal your back, you're going to have to let him go so you are not carrying him anymore. So therefore, you can only care of yourself and care you, carry you. So your back can support you and carry you to the strength that you really are. Thank you. You're welcome, Rosa. I appreciate you, ladies. Oh, it's four of us. Rosa, you hang in there, okay? Thank you, love. All right. Keep listening. Ain't no half stepping with Marcus J. Live from the Den, Legacy Internet Radio. That's powerful, y'all. Some powerful ladies, man. I'm glad to honor to actually see y'all work. And, uh, you know, it kind of bugged me out. You know, there were certain moments when each of you kind of got a little bit feisty and that was kind of real dope to me so i was glad to see that uh you know how stepping with marcus j live from the den legacy internet radio we're gonna take a break y'all and when we come back we are going to take a walk around the round table our brother big rule is getting ready to take us a walk around the round table you uh you want to tease a little bit or you want to just take us to break i mean you know, uh, go, going to jail is tough, especially for Candy. Wow, it's a big old dilemma. Marcus J. and the crew. Ain't no half-stepping with yours truly. Big.